My research is about conscience in public life. My uh, presentation uh, relates to a somewhat larger research project, which has two strands. One of them is uh, considering from a philosophical point of view, I'm based in the UCD School of Philosophy, is considering uh, forms of protest such as civil disobedience and whistleblowing uh, um, as conscience-driven forms of protest and their place in a democratic public life. And the other um, strand of the research project has to do with political authority. Uh, the two belong together because I see uh, conscience-driven protest as, as uh, playing an important part in democratic life uh, from the point of view of a complex interplay between political authority and individual freedom, which I posit as the centre of uh, political rule. My thesis is that the concept of conscience helps to throw light on the complex and dynamic interplay between individual freedom and political authority, uh, which I'm claiming is central to political rule uh, more generally. Secondly, conscience-driven protest, and by this I mean things like civil disobedience and whistleblowing, these forms of protest can make a vital contribution to this interplay between freedom and political authority that I regard as being of central importance. Why is this, these questions important at all? I think that's pretty obvious. <laughs> Most of us uh, live in uh, political systems that call themselves democratic. As a philosopher concerned, among other things, with political issues, I'm concerned to probe the concept of democracy uh, operational in uh, contemporary democracies, to consider the deeper values driving the democratic pro uh, uh, process, and to think about ways in which uh, democracy in the contemporary world, in general, Ireland in particular, can be enhanced.